Hints equal love. Love your sisters and love yourself. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 movie co-stars who are best friends in real life. Well, I was lucky. My first job was with uh, America Ferreira and Amber Tamblyn and Alexis Liddell, and these women are, are role models of mine to this day. Where's Odin? You just couldn't stay away, could you? 270 pounds of pure muscle, I'm supposed to be afraid of you? Is that what you think? Maybe. For this list, we'll be looking at co-stars from feature films who became fast friends off-camera as well. In some cases, these pals already had BFF status before starring on the big screen together. And in others, these friends for life met while working alongside one another. TV co-stars will not be included. If we've missed any movie star friends, then please leave us a comment in the comment section below. Number 20, Ben Platt and Skylar Astin, the Pitch Perfect franchise. I'm gonna go introduce myself. Everybody be cool, it's just a normal day. Not only were Platt and Astin in the first two successful Pitch Perfect films together, they're together in life too, as bros, with Astin referring to Platt as a roomie for life on Instagram. They may have played college roommates, but their kinship is for real. I've got the magic in me. For instance, Platt was present at Aston's wedding. Meanwhile, Aston and his then-wife, fellow Pitch Perfect co-star Anna Camp, who's also real-life BFFs with one of her co-stars, Brittany Snow, visited Platt while he was performing on Broadway in Dear Evan Hansen in 2016. They may not be performing on screen at the moment, but you can bet that Ben Platt and Skylar Aston kept their on-screen friendship off-screen as well. Well, you know me well. Like, could you maybe help? <laughs> if you do, you could be like, you're not that. Number 19, Jada Pinkett Smith and Queen Latifah. Set it off and girls trip. Pinkett Smith met her real world BFF back in Baltimore when she was 15 and snuck into a club to see an up and coming 17 year old Latifah perform. She was blown away. You're right about that. The two would later star in the 1996 hit, Set It Off, and while they wouldn't work together again for 21 years, they maintained a tight friendship in between projects. Latifah told People that she and Jada can, quote, hold whole conversations without really saying anything, but still saying a lot. That's a deep connection that friends could only probably have after 30 odd years of closeness. <laughs> Here's hoping we don't have to wait another 21 years in between films to see these two women together again. Number 18, Sebastian Stan and Anthony Mackie, The Marvel Cinematic Universe. These two co-stars met on the set of Captain America The Winter Soldier and were not immediate BFFs, but spending time together on press tours for their MCU films seems to have changed that. And now, with several more films under their respective belts, as well as the Disney Plus series The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, it's easy to spot the closeness between Falcon and Bucky Barnes. Hello, girl, kick your ass! Aye. In an attempt to get Sebastian out of New York during the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, Mackie even tried convincing Stan to join him in New Orleans. No one knows what the MCU holds for their characters just yet, but off camera, their bromance shows no signs of slowing. Always, always remember number one. But always kind of keep in mind number two. Number 17, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, Various. Nick Frost met buddy and collaborator Simon Pegg when Frost was a waiter at a restaurant in London. The two became friends and eventual roommates before going on to work together in projects like the box office hit Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> oh, she <bad>, love. <laughs> oh, she likes you. Since their breakout, the two have continued to stay together both on and off screen, such as in the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy and the sci-fi comedy Paul. Why are we holding hands? So we look like a family. Like any close relationship, these two funny men have had their share of drama and fights. Simon Pegg has stated that while they may quarrel, they always end up back together again, just like in any family. And this family not only plays and fights together, they clearly know how to work together too, through thick and thin. Do not go to the Winchester. The pub is out. Even if it's shut? Especially if it's closed. Remember what happened the last time? <sighs> Number 16, Michael Fassbender and James McAvoy, the X-Men Beginnings franchise. 
deemed the new Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart, who we'll get to later, these two actors share more than just the former's characters. Though they first worked together on the Band of Brothers miniseries, their bromance as we know it began with the world of the X-Men. Remember, the point between rage and serenity. The two mutant besties even have a combined nickname, McFassie. The psychic Charles. You can convince me to do anything. Watch any interview the two have given and you'll see the great chemistry that translates off screen. What with McAvoy easily cracking Fassbender up with every chance he gets. You would all remember that party we were at in San Diego at Comic Con? Didn't you knock someone out there? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Here's hoping James and Michael also continue their bond well past their current ages and into their 80s and beyond. Goodbye, old friend. Goodbye, Eric. Number 15, Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. Various. The kinship of our next duo of BFFs can be described as brother from another mother, which McConaughey himself has called them on Instagram. McConaughey beat out Harrelson for his breakout role in A Time to Kill, only to end up playing his brother in Ed TV a few years later. Oh, oh, is that the way it is, huh, bro? Maybe it was their alleged shared love of recreational activities, but the duo have always seemed tight well beyond just that. You both seem like you enjoy having fun. Yeah, well, there we go, some pictures to prove it. Matthew has even publicly admitted that he's gone to the Woodman with personal problems in the past. I'll step into my office, let's have a little conversation. Whether it's the lesser known surfer dude or HBO's true detective, these two cool characters are all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Number 14, Christian Stewart and Dakota Fanning, The Twilight Saga and The Runaways. These two ladies have appeared in a few films together and initially met on a short film back in 2007. You think anybody's gonna take us seriously? It's just, it's just publicity, it helps everybody. But according to Fanning, the first introduction wasn't special enough to call it their real first meeting. It wasn't until the two were on the Twilight Saga New Moon set that their bond truly formed in what Dakota calls their chosen moment of meeting. She wants to be. And so she will be. For dessert. It was while she introduced friend Kristen Stewart at Elle's Women in Hollywood Awards ceremony in 2016 that the two publicly professed their love and respect for one another. She finds what is most important and carves into it like a building into the sky. <laughs> Fanning confessed Stewart had been there to hold her hair back, helped her through heartbreak, while Stewart responded to it all with, oh my god, dude, I love you so much. That's BFF love. Okay, that's it. <laughs> You're done. Thank you. I, I love you, man. Number 13, Reese Witherspoon and Mindy Kaling, A Wrinkle in Time. After working together in A Wrinkle in Time, Kaling and Witherspoon have since become fast friends. Well, I knew you could do it all along. I never doubted you for a second. Kaling, a parent herself, doesn't hold back when she gushes about how blown away she is by Reese's mom abilities. We think your father tested here. Don't be shy. Go ahead, look around. Reese, in turn, has gotten her pal Mindy involved in Legally Blonde 3, with Kaling co writing the screenplay. I think she's got a lot of potential. These two Hollywood powerhouses send gifts to one another and have even been known to hang out together at family friendly places like Disneyland. I actually like <laughs> this. I like pumping gas. Yeah. I'd be like, go. I gotta, I gotta just say, I, have, I wouldn't know what to do. It's clear that Reese and Mindy know how to be more than just colleagues, they know how to be friends too. Number 12, Seth Rogen and James Franco. Various. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Who doesn't know that these two are friends for life? But now I realize I'm lucky to have you as my best friend, man. You're the best guy I know. BFFF. Whether it's their on-screen chemistry in the cult classic Pineapple Express, or the political controversy from what was an almost not a movie with the interview. They with hate us because they ain't us. That's not what it is. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Rogan and Franco are hardcore bros off screen as well. Where are the answers? You just said to steal the test. Initially meeting on the short-lived TV show Freaks and Geeks, the two even fell in love with each other due to a shot-for-shot -shot remake of then-couple Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's romantic video Bound 2. <laughs> Whether it's in movies, on TV, in music videos, or just out in the wild, 
Franco and Rogan are besties for sure. And All right, man. Well, thanks. Good to see All you, All right, man. peace, brother. Okay, yeah. One love. Number 11, Dwayne Johnson and Kevin Hart. The Jumanji franchise and Central Intelligence. Whoa, back up, man! Constantly at each other's throats, Kevin Hart and Dwayne The Rock Johnson attack in such hysterically warm ways that you can't help but feel the love between them. Oh, you think because you, you what, 6'4, 6'5, 270 pounds of pure muscle, I'm supposed to be afraid of you? Is that what you think? Maybe. But if the sarcasm doesn't show you just how close they are, just listen to The Rock when he says Hart's definitely one of my best friends on Jimmy Kimmel Live. You know, he had a tough year and I'm so happy he's he did. back. And yeah. He's in the game and he's feeling good and very resilient. The two have teamed up on multiple occasions, with hilarious Hart especially playing well off The Rock's straight man. Stop. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> I'm a hugger. Whether it's Dwayne honoring Kevin with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, jokingly competing for attention on Instagram, or starring together in a Jumanji film, their partnership works wonders on screen and off. Plain and simple, they're a lot of fun to watch. You talking to my camel? Yes, I'm talking to the camel. And he can tell that you're a pain in the ass. Number 10, Penelope Cruz and Salma Hayek, Bandidas. Friends since 2001, Cruz and Hayek still have each other's backs today. Do you work for us, Maria Alvarez? No, I do not work for you. Then what are you doing here? I have business with your father. Cruz starred in 2006's Banditas with Hayek, and more importantly, was there when Hayek got married in 2009. What kind of a bride smells like a horse and kisses like a chicken pecking corn? They've openly praised one another's work, and when both were on a precarious flight together, Cruz reportedly remarked that she would have been okay if this was her last flight, as she was with her best friend. And it was an emergency landing with a depressurization of cabin, like a very serious, serious thing, and we had to land somewhere else. Dark, but endearing. Cruz and Hayek are close enough to have cute, food-based nicknames for each other as well as a bond that both maintain is like a firm sisterhood, and have even called each other their heroes. Related to Penelope Cruz. Not, my, not by blood, but she is like a sister to me. Number 9. Cameron Diaz and Drew Barrymore, Charlie's Angels. We were both like LA kids, you know? I worked in a coffee house. She was a model, and uh, I like served her coffee, and we had like mutual friends. Though they first met in the late 80s, these two only started getting close when Barrymore approached Diaz about co-starring in 2000's Charlie's Angels, and the pair have been good pals ever since. I'm gonna go deal with Knox. I'm gonna go bring our boss Lee back. Drew and Cameron have been there for each other's marriages and beyond, and these two maintain that they're more like family than just friends, as evidenced in their social media posts. Barrymore has even gone so far as to say that Diaz would be the first person she calls should she ever wind up in jail. I've been to all your weddings. <laughs> exactly. I've been all, to all of them. Let's hope that doesn't happen, but let's hope there's no slowing down for these real-life angels in both work and play. She was always kind. You know, someone who looks like that, they could be you know, have an attitude, and she was the opposite. She was friendly and goofy and really nice. Number 8. Ashley Tisdale and Vanessa Hudgens, the High School Musical franchise. These two friends were already acquainted before their shared time in these Disney Channel movies. What are you doing here? I'm the new lifeguard. In fact, Tisdale and Hudgens met before their breakout film roles, way back when, at a commercial audition. Having someone else share such a unique experience in the world of stardom surely helps with forming bonds for life, and these BFFs have shared everything from getting tattoos to being at each other's weddings and revamping each other's homes. How excited are you to watch her become a bomb for the first time? Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. I'm just, I'm so excited to get back to LA to sing to her baby. Things may have really started with Disney, but this friendship has extended well beyond that. X's and the O's, they haunt me. Number seven, Brad Pitt and George Clooney, the Oceans franchise. These guys not only share good looks and high profile movie star status, but also a true friendship that goes beyond the silver screen. I need a reason. I don't say money. Why do this? Why not do it? While this bromance reportedly began during working hours on 2001's Ocean's Eleven, the duo maintains a friendship during off hours as well, with the notorious pranksters lovingly struggling to get one up on the other. I had stationery made up with his name, and then I would send letters to other actors <laughs> from Brad Pitt. These pranks have involved everything from the Chippendale dancers to the police and even a goat, or maybe a sheep. They've had some rocky moments in their relationship, like when Pitt divorced Jennifer Aniston, which was allegedly much to Clooney's chagrin. 
but they're back to being friends now, with Brad saying he expected roses from George for his 2020 SAG Award win. What's the kind of thing he texts you, like a congratulations? Is it that kind of relationship? Uh, 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 he'll probably send flowers. He's more of a flowers guy. Oh. Number six, Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They met while filming Thor back in 2009 and have shared a friendship ever since. You can't kill an entire race. Why not? <laughs> Having both of them come into fame at about the same time, they found that they had a lot more in common than just our on-screen characters did. Hemsworth has even called Hiddleston an honorary Hemsworth, saying that he's adopted him as a brother. We've adopted him. He's one of the Hemsworths. Yeah. He's in. We, we've given him a card, given him a, a badge. Yeah. He's, he's... I'm like the run to the litter. Meanwhile, Tom publicly thanked Chris when the former won an MTV award for Best Villain. My brother from another mother, Chris Hemsworth. They not only go to one another's red carpet premieres, but also lovingly entertain each other at what could be stuffy events if you didn't have a friend keeping you company. I've hung out with his brothers as well. They're, it's a great time, I've got to say. Fun. It's also fun to see where he fits into the dynamic. Number five, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. Various. Angie? What? I'm Kate. Oh, hi! These two not only have great chemistry on screen, but they clearly have it off screen as well, as they've hit it off since their shared time on SNL. Hello, I'm Amy Poehler. I'm Tina Fey, and here are tonight's top stories. Since then, they've starred in Mean Girls, Baby Mama, and Sisters together. Amazing. You're crushing it. Woo! And have shown how well they play off each other at the four Golden Globe ceremonies they co-hosted. Look who slithered back over to the TV section. Hi, Julia. Hi, Julia. <laughs> Having met in Chicago while the two were studying improv comedy, they became fast friends when they shared a love of quietly bashing their instructor to one another. Oh, I got a whole intricate sewn-in system under there. Heck, these two funny ladies have even supposedly planned to marry their kids off to one another. So there's that too. Number four, Leonardo DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire, The Great Gatsby. I knew you looked for me, you're having a good time, old sport. Oh, the whole thing's incredible. These two knew each other well before they started The Great Gatsby together. They actually met as child actors all the way back in the 1980s, having shared time together at auditions in LA. See you later. Bye, Tommy. Bye, Sarah. Both mostly raised by single mothers, the two guys bonded almost immediately. And while they sometimes auditioned for the same roles, these friends didn't share any bitterness. I miss them a lot today. As both their fame levels increased, Toby and Leo were known around town for keeping fast and hard company, perhaps not unlike something you might see on Entourage. No, Leo went to Paris to talk to James Cameron about some fish movie. But as they've matured and toned down their public profiles, both DiCaprio and Maguire remain close. You sure you want me to come? Absolutely, old sport. Absolutely. Number three, Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart the X-Men franchise. Sir Ian and Sir Patrick have both had long careers and even appeared together in a 1977 stage play, but didn't keep in contact. I'm looking for hope. I will bring you hope, old friend. In fact, it wasn't until slightly more recently, in 2000's X-Men, that the two became BFFs. Their friendship is so tight that Sir Ian even married Sir Patrick to his wife in 2013. I believe you've done rather well. Oh, quite well, yes. Past my best now. Also in the 2010s, McKellen and Stewart have been seen appearing together on stage in productions like No Man's Land and, of course, via their hysterical social media posts. Just because the 2020s see them both in their 80s doesn't mean these two knights can't still laugh at themselves. And I will always be there. Old friend. Number two, Blake Lively, Amber Tamblin, Alexis Bledel, and America Ferreira, the sisterhood of the Traveling Pants franchise. Ta-da! Tibby, you're a babe! Wow. These women all starred together in 2005's The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants and its 2008 sequel, but their friendship didn't stop there. Today, these four women are still just as tight as their on-screen counterparts, coming together frequently for huge moments in their respective lives. Well, I was lucky. My first job was with uh, America Ferreira and Amber Tamblin and Alexis Liddell, and these women are, are role models of mine to this day. They've been there for each other's pregnancies, weddings, you name it. They even get their kids together for playdates. We'll be hanging out and then realize, oh, we we are the sisterhood of the traveling kids. And what's more, there are rumors that these BFFs might be coming together on screen for a third installment of the film series that kicked off this true friendship sometime in the near future. You have something else to do.
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ben Affleck and Matt Damon – Goodwill Hunting and Dogma So, uh, when are you done with those meetings? Like the week after I'm 21. Yeah, they're gonna hook you up with a job or what? Who doesn't know about this classic Hollywood romance that extends to even before the pair's breakout in 1997's Goodwill Hunting and that garnered them both Oscars? The two first met as kids in Massachusetts when their moms apparently introduced them. And then things soon got real for the pair when Affleck got Damon out of a losing fight. I was like a junior and he was like a freshman. And, and he tackled this kid off of me and literally at the risk of his own life. They went to high school together and eventually embarked on Hollywood careers together. See, in the beginning, it was just us and him, angels and God. Uh -huh. Then he created humans. In the 2010s, Matt continued to be there for Ben through his public struggles with addiction, and it's clear that this friendship shows no signs of slowing down. He will, he will put himself in a really bad spot for me, like this yeah. is a good friend. And he will be Batman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.